All right, welcome to the R3 video. Here, our goal is to multiply rational expressions. Um, multiplying rational expressions is a whole lot like simplifying rational expressions, except for this time we're going to have two rational expressions being multiplied together. So I want you to remember something. So here we're going to recall, uh, I want you to recall multiplying fractions. And here, I really want to emphasize that this was easy. This is really, really easy, right? The, the uh, rule of thumb when you multiply fractions is you multiply across the top, across the top, and, and I'm going to put this in quotes, and across the bottom. All right, so this one was really, really simple. Now let's take a look at a, a basic example. Let's say if we had something like 4 over 7 times, I don't know, 3 over oh, 6, right? Well, across the top, so 4 times 3, so if we're going to multiply these, right, we're going to go across the top and then across the bottom. So 4 times 3 is 12, and 7 times 6 is 42. And now we could reduce 12 over 42, right? Um, we know 12 and 42, they're both even numbers, so if I divide 12 by 2, so this reduces, 12 divided by 2 is 6, and 42 divided by 2 is 21. And, you know, there's another one in here. I could reduce these both by 3, right? Because 21, that's that famous one, that's 7 and 3. And here we have a 2 and 3, so if I divide 6 by 3, I'm left with 2, and 21 by 3, I'm left with 7. All right, remember, across the top, across the bottom, it's really, really easy. Now, I want to show you another way of doing this. Let's do the same example, but here I'm going to go another way. Same example, 4 over 7 times 3 over 6. Now, instead of multiplying 4 times 3 from Jump Street, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, well, 4 is the same thing as 2 times 2, right? And 7 is just 7 times 1. 3 is the same thing as just 3 times 1. And 6 is 2 times 3. And now if I, if I take a look here, I know that 2 in the top is going to cancel with this 2 in the bottom. So this 2 and this 2 cancel. The 3 up here and this 3 are going to cancel. And remember, they cancel down to just 1. So here is just a 1 here. Instead of a 3, now it's a 1. Instead of the 2 and the 3 here, it's just a 1. And if I multiply, the, what I have left over is a 1, right? So 1 times 2, again, 2. 2 times 1 is 2. And 7 times 1 is 7. Well, now look. We got the same answers, right? We got the exact same answer, except for I didn't have to use bigger numbers like 12 and 42. This time I took 4 and I broke it down. I took the 6 and broke it down and I canceled where I could. So let's take a look at an example that we might see on our homework that involves a rational expression, uh, which means there's probably going to be a variable involved. All right, let's take a look at something like 96 over 38n times 25 over 45. Now, I want to do this where I break it down. So, 96, I'll just get some scratch paper out on this one. 96 is 2 and, oh goodness gracious, we're looking at 48. That's 2 and 24, 2 and 12, 2 and 6, 2 and 3. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 twos and a 3. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, and a three. Thirty-eight. Well, thirty-eight, if I had my calculator out, I would know that's two and nineteen. So thirty-eight n becomes two times nineteen times n. And now twenty-five and forty-five are nicer. I know twenty-five is just five and five. Forty-five is five and nine. So now that I've strung it all the way out, I can look at the most basic components and cancel where I can. 
So I'm going to take a look. Here I have a 2 and a 2. These guys cancel out, and I'm left with 1. Um, I have a 19. There's no 19 on top. There's no N on top. There are no other threes or twos on the bottom. The only other thing that matches is going to be this five right here with that five. So then that leaves me, and again, I'm going to have my calculator. Two times two times two times two times three times five. And all of that is going to give us 80. Wait, 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 wait. That nine is really a three times three. Ah, there is a three. Excuse me, I can't believe I lied to you that way. Two times two times two times two. <laughs> two times two is four times two is eight. Two times five is 10. Eight times 10 is 80. I was wondering, I'm silly old me. 19 times 3, if I do that on my calculator, I end up with a 57 and N. See, we all make mistakes every once in a while, right? All right, so instead of a 9, it was 3 times 3. I apologize for, for missing that one. And here, the big takeaway here, note, all right, any factor from either numerator so this numerator or this numerator can cancel with any factor any let's say matching I want to be very careful here any matching factor from either denominator. All right, so any factor from either numerator can cancel with any matching factor from either denominator. So if I have a 2 on the top on the left side and a 2 on the bottom on the right, I can cancel. Well, that happened with our 3, right? The 3 in the top on the, on the left uh, fraction canceled with the bottom 3 on the right fraction. So it's okay that they you know, I can look, any of these are going to cancel with any of these. It doesn't matter that they are in different fractions. All right, let's take a look at a couple more examples. You know, some things that we're going to see in our homework here. All right. We're lined up. And we're lined up. All right, let's take a look. We have 7n squared times n plus 4 over n minus 3 times n plus 4. That's going to get multiplied with n minus 3, n plus 8 times n plus 6, right? Okay. So this is what's going to be given to us. And before we go anywhere, again, I want to I'm going to see, are there any factors that I could do here? And, and 7 does not factor nicely. n squared, well, there's nothing in the denominator to cancel with just the n. And I want you to know, these binomials here, so even though these are not in parentheses, this n minus 3 is not in parentheses, I'm going to go ahead and force it to have parentheses. And now I can see the n minus 3 down here and the n minus 3 up here, these binomials cancel. I'm not looking for an n to cancel with an n. No, everything in parentheses has to cancel with something else that's exactly the same. So are there any other factors here that are going to cancel? And I'm looking, I'm looking, and I see I have this n plus 4 here, and I have an n plus 4 here. So everything in parentheses, that n plus 4 is going to cancel with everything in parentheses down here. Now again, this n minus 3 goes into a 1. So now whenever I go to simplify, since I'm done canceling, there's no n minus or n plus 8, and there's no n plus 6, there's no 7, and there's no n down here. So now I'm going to look. 7n squared times 1 is 7n squared. And then the denominator, I have an n plus 8 and an n plus 6. And just note, I'm going to leave as factors. 
Right? There's no sense in multiplying the denominator out. That's just extra work that I don't want to do. Let's try one more. If I have 5r plus 50 over r plus 10 times r minus 2 over 5. And I'm looking right off the bat. There's nothing nice here. So, in order to cancel, I need to find if there's any factors. Factor if I can. All right, that's my first step. After I factor, then I'm going to look to cancel. All right, so when I'm looking here, 5r plus 50, well, 5r plus 50, I could get a greatest common factor out of that, right? They both, 5 goes into 5r and 50, so I pull a 5 out, I'll be left with r plus 10. And the denominator, r plus 10, there's no greatest common factor there, so I'm left with r plus 10. Now, notice I'm putting that in parentheses to remind myself, I'm going to scoot it up here, to remind myself, hey, this whole thing has to cancel with somebody else. And then the r minus 2 on top, there's nothing I can cancel out with that, so r minus 2. And then the 5, there's nothing I can factor there. So now I'm looking to see, does anything cancel with anything? Well, I have r plus 10 and r plus 10. These guys cancel. All right, again, notice I've, I've factored, right? So check, I've done my factoring. The only bit of factoring that I've done was the 5r plus 50. So I've factored. Now I'm going to look to cancel. So r plus 10 and r plus 10, these guys are gone. I have a 5 in the top here and a 5 in the bottom here. So that 5 goes to a 1. This 5 goes to a 1. And now I'm going to multiply. 1 times r minus 2 is simply r minus 2. I can leave them in parentheses. And I have a 1 times 1, and I'm left with 1. Now, I don't want to leave 1 in the denominator. That, that's a little silly looking, right? Because anything divided by 1 is itself. So my final answer here is going to be r minus 2. I'm going to do one more. Uh, this time I'm going to go a little bit quick um, just because I know uh, there's not a whole lot of time. But I want you to see what happens whenever I have um, more to, to factor. So here I have a 45x squared over x minus 9. We're going to multiply that with x squared minus 5x minus 36 over 3x squared plus 12x squared. All right, so I'm going to break down the 45. Oh, uh, I mean, here, let's take a look. x minus 9, I cannot do anything with x minus 9. Here I have this trinomial, which turns into x minus 9 and x plus 4. Down here I have a greatest common factor. 3 goes into both of them. Are they both x squareds? I think. Got to look at the original sometime. Yeah, it's x to the third. Excuse me, I apologize for the correction. So 3x squared plus 12x squared. Excuse me, I'll say it again. 3x to the third plus 12x squared. Okay, sorry. So x squared is going to come out, and then I'm left with x plus, now 12 divided by 3 is 4x squared, x squared is done. Now, when I look at this 45x squared, I know that's 5 times 9. And remember, 9 is 3 times 3. And I have an x squared. Now I'm going to look to see if anything cancels. All right? So remember, this x minus 9 is in parentheses. That's going to cancel with that x minus 9. x plus 4 cancels with x plus 4. 3 is going to cancel with 3. x squared is going to cancel with x squared. And I'm left with 5 times 3 on the top, which is 15. 
and 1 times 1 on the bottom, which is 1, and 15 over 1 is simply 15. Now, I realize this went fast, but what I really want you to pay attention to is I set it all up in the same way except for I factored everything into its most basic components and canceled where I could. 